Today, we are replacing the thermal pads in this EBGA 3080. This is a for the win three model. We're gonna be using these thermal right, thermal pads. They're really a thermal putty, and I'll get to that later in the video. Don't forget the last screw that is under the warranty sticker. That means absolutely nothing. Then we're gonna take off the back plate and get to the actual bracket that pushes against the die itself. Once we get done with this, we're gonna take this off and then crack open the actual GPU against the heatsink. Now make sure when you're taking off these cables, you're really delicate, you don't wanna break any of these off. Then we're just gonna wiggle this back and forth until we can create an air pocket and then take this off because there's gonna be suction from that thermal paste itself. The key thing here is once we actually get it off, we wanna make sure that we don't pull it all the way off because there is still another cable that we need to get to. Once we crack it open, you can see that this is thermal putty. It's kind of similar to a thermal pad and thermal paste kind of mixed into one. We're just gonna clean this die off and then get to repadding this entire thing. It's gonna be great and we had some memory temp issues and that's why we're doing it in the first place. As you can see, it doesn't actually have a pad. It's got a consistency that's like really thick thermal paste that we're just cleaning off here. And then up next, we're just being really meticulous getting this off all of the chips because we don't wanna just paper towel it and then wipe it around because we just really wanna be careful with this 3080. Now we're placing the putty and making sure that we're using the correct thick the biggest thing is you want to make sure that this is reaching the heat sink because without that obviously you're not going to get that thermal performance we're just razor blading any excess and we're covering everything we need to another great tip is pushing this on the back of the pcb as well that way you can touch the back plate and get even better thermal performance once we put this back together we got some new thermal paste and all the new pads on there put it in the system and use hardware info 64. this is a great way to check your temps we went from 100 c all the way down to 80 c on the memory junction among other temperatures dropping repairs on pc products are some of my favorite things to do Follow for more.